everybody to a short tutorial on how to use the file manager system in SkyCiv. So I'm just going to start by logging in here. So you can just log in through any web browser just at skyciv.com forward slash login. And I'm just going to log in on a free account here and I'm just going to show you what the uh, dashboard looks like for a free user. So here on the left we have uh, all our software that's available to us under the free account. So I have Beam, Truss, Frame, Shaft, Structural 3D, Section Builder and our API. Uh, to across the top bar we have an upgrade button, um, we also have uh, support so you can find your documentation or your training centre in here, con ways to contact us, um, as well as um, your upgrades and your account settings as well as logout options there. Uh, it will also tell you what account you're on so I can see I'm on the free account there. And also just keeps you up to date with um, how you're going with file storage. Um, with this account there is a limitation of five um, files and also 100 API calls, so it just keeps you on track to how much of your um, usage that you've used for this account. And internally here we have our SkyCiv file manager. So here's where all our files are, are housed and we can also create our folders and, and run different operations that I'm going to show you through this tutorial. Um, here we're under Beam, so these are all our files under SkyCiv Beam software. So I can see inbox folder, that's a folder if anyone sent me any files um, this is where it's going to show. So if someone sent me the fixed support mid-span file, uh, it's going to come up in my inbox. We've also got some sample files here so you can view um, some previously built structures as well as um, some public user files. So just what the public's creating, um, what other people, you can check out what other people are building, um, showing some cool structures throughout. So I'll just take us to, uh, so we have our different uh, software here, we have truss, frame, shaft, but I'll just take us through the structural 3D and we'll have a bit of a play with some of the operations that you can do here. So on the top here we've got a back button, new folder, new file and refresh. And here on the right we can uh, choose to list our items like this or tile them. Um, it comes defaulted as tile but you can change that in your account settings here. And you've also got search buttons here so if you have quite a lot of files um, I could search for scaffolding and it will uh, show that one file. That file that comes under that name. I can also uh, click and drag so I can actually move this into other folders to organize uh, things more clearly and um, so under my new folder I'll have scaffolding there or I can right click and move back to previous folders. Um, I can also run operations such as copy, rename or even send to other SkyCiv users and of course delete. So I really have quite a, a lot of uh, flexibility and, and functionality that I can use to keep all my files um, in well-organized fashion. So going back to my main folder, that's where it is. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to um, comment below on the below video. Otherwise, email us at support at skysiv.com or simply just visit here, um, support, contact us, and fill out the form and we'll be able to address those questions that you have. Thanks a lot.